Okay, so I'm talking to Jimmy Walker, manager of Team Shore and Partners, and world famous as my kayak coach online. Jimmy's famous for uh, regular videos, regular posts, um, and you know, he's out. He's got a great little squad going in uh, Sydney, out of North Bondi, and out of the Georges Rivers. And uh, that's right. The Cooks River, mate. Cooks the mighty Cooks. The mighty Sorry, Cooks. Mate, the Cooks River. Yeah, I'm a more than one legend. Yep, yep. So, um, yeah, and so uh, most people would know my kayak coach and, and Jimmy. So, uh, welcome to Hawaii, mate. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, I've been here. Uh, this is my fifth time here as a, as, as a guest of the island, and it's my first time that I'm going to cross the channel. Great. So, uh, how's the training going? Well, the training I've, I've actually done a little bit different, right? Because uh, I've got I've got a, I'm a sprinter by trade, so to speak. Uh, in my paddling days, um, coaching with the, with the surf squad. So our Aussie Championships finished five weeks ago, and uh, I've taken what I'd call the time poor approach and tried to do lots of sort of 20 k's and 15 and 12 k's and added the, and added them together to think that I've got the miles. So. <laughs> Uh, look, I don't know how I'm going to go, Tim, to tell you the truth, uh, whether I'll actually be able to handle the, the whole distance or I'll go really well because I didn't overcook myself. So um, I've been very lucky to, uh, with the Shore and Partners race team, we've been staying here, you know, I've been paddling with Hank McGregor, Dean Gardner, Corey Hill, Mackenzie Heinard, Ali Day, Shannon Exton, I mean, just name dropping just goes on and on and on. But, <laughs> For the whole week, I've been able to suck some information out of them, and uh, you know, everyone's different, and their tips are different, but somewhat the same. And so, I've been getting a bit of out of that. So, I hope that's going to help me. I've got a magnificent uh, escort boat. Been lucky to get a great. Uh, Andrews are fantastic. He's crossed the channel numerous times. So, uh, mate, preparation's spot on. So, great. So there we go. And you uh, and you were saying earlier that you've never paddled 27 more than 27 kilometres prior to this. Had, had you, have you done that in training at all? Any more than that in training recently? No, I haven't even gone close to it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 22 to 23 is the furthest I've done. I yep. think I've done that twice. Uh, 27, I've done the doctor. I've done that twice. Yep. And, uh, and that's it, mate. So it's a totally unknown experience. When I was 15, some, uh, you know, some time ago, I did a four hour race. But uh, outside of that, man, it's been close to the three minute mark nearly all my life. So uh, now we're getting into the, you know, upward of four hours, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a good challenge. All I can say is um, I think you're a little bit like me where you're a good 500 paddler, a good sprinter, not the greatest VO2 max in the world. One thing I like about the, the Molokai race as opposed to say a one hour ocean paddle race is that um, you get to settle down in the Molokai race a bit more. You know, it's not like you're at the edge of, you know, your aerobic capacity all the time, just smashing yourself lungs and you get to set the level so you might enjoy that it yeah. depends on the distance yeah. yeah for sure like conditions will play a big part in, in, in how that is but you know what Tim it's quite interesting your point on that is that for a person who's never done it before it's not the how fast you go it's actually the how slow you go and yeah. all the advice that you get from anybody is make sure you don't go out hard and you know I've got some great friends Clint Robinson you know the, the champion that he is is reiterating to me many times over Jimmy just make sure you don't do what you normally do and go out super hard and Corey's backing that up, Hank's backing that up. So it's true, don't go out too hard. But the thing that's getting me the most is how actual hard do you go for how long? And so I'm gonna judge my race off. I don't wanna to get to 35K and despise the next 20 odd K and think yep. it's the worst thing ever and be in a world of hurt. But I also don't wanna finish and go, oh, I could have given that more. So. You know, it'll, it'll be a wait and see how I go. I'll, I'll be prepared and look, I'll, I'll get into it. And I'm, look, I'm sure a bit of me is going to go a little bit quick for a little while, but I'll, I'll try that yeah, slow down. Yeah, I won't be able to help myself. Yeah, I won't be able to help myself. I'll see that and I'll, and I'll go for it. But uh, conditions look good so far from what I hear. I'm not checking them. Yeah. But if they're good, I'm going I'm to try my best. Right, great. Oh, at the end of the day, we all love downwind tailing, so just go and crack around for a yeah, it'd be great. And it's, look, it's an iconic race, and it's, it's a race that's a bucket list. And least I can say, with all the fortunate things that I've been able to do in my paddling career, I can say now, on Sunday afternoon, Monday morning, back home in Australia, that I've crossed the channel, and uh, all being well. And, you know, it's not possible without yep. Shore and Partners and, and, and Vike Kobe and Bennett and Epic to get me to be able to do this, and, and my own self and my family back home. But... I'm really excited about now what's going to happen on Sunday. Okay. Great. And have you got any of your stable over? 
No, so it's a little also a bit of a reconnaissance mission for me to be able to know how to do it yeah. and how to coach for it. So that's that really one of the real reasons I did come over. I've got a, a stable of about 25 young paddlers, uh, you know, half and half men and w men and women, boys and girls, whichever you want to call it. So I'm, 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 I've done the training that I've done and I'll do the race and I'll see how to coach for that. It's, it's a difficult time of year for those who are young who do Australian surf life saving because it comes up on them so quickly, Molokai. So I'm confident what I've done in the time that I've done it is going to give me an enjoyable race. Okay. And as manager of Shore and Partners team, what does that involve for you? It involves making that uh, our, our top athletes, Rachel, Michael Booth, uh, Corey Hill and Mackenzie Heinart, can go about their business of paddling and, and, and boothy on the sub, be able to do that without any worry. So my, I do the back end work, making sure we can get our social medias up, making sure their kit's right, making sure that everything's just running smoothly for them. If they, if they come across a problem that they might worry about, they've got someone to bounce off and, and, and we can just make their journey so enjoyable and have a great time doing what they love and take away the worry. And Shore and Partners, that's what they're doing for the whole team is taking away the worry and so they can be at their best and I'm sure Corey's going to be at his absolute best this week. Great, great, thanks for your time Jimmy and I'm, I'm intrigued to see how you know how you go and best of luck for it mate, um, another old timer so I'm always you know, wishing the old timers go well and uh, have a good time. Thanks Tim, it's been great to catch up. Thanks mate, cheers.